teetering on the edge for as long as I can remember, even though I know it hasn't always been this way. My life and my thoughts and my actions and my words haven't reflected who I am in this vibrantly stark new world. So I pour fire down my throat, inhale numbness through my lungs, blow out flames when I cannot sustain them any longer, swallow 10 grams just to feel alive. Base my self-worth on what other people think and tailor my image to fulfill these unspoken thoughts that eat away at my body and my brain. I scream in silence, but only in silence, so that the world will never know that I'm not in control, that I'm not always strong, that I'm weak and sometimes need a shoulder, but I never take it and continue to teeter, always teeter. As I stand on the edge of the abyss and coil my muscles to jump into that never-ending night of shouts and echoes of too far gone to care, I see a dim light. And in that silver-yellow haze, there are faces, and there are memories, and there are futures filled with promise. They beckon and they wave and they float through my head. They whisper something I haven't been able to say my whole life. I step back from the abyss and open my jaw for the first time. Release the breath I've held in my lungs since birth. And out trickle the words I've wanted to tell the world. And myself for so long. I am loved. I am important. I am good enough.